Hi, today I'd like to talk about tools for a little bit. In the previous video, I kind of made fun of somebody because they told me I would do that myself if I only had the tools in regards to replacing or reballing an audio IC on an iPhone 4. And if you're in the industry, you know why this is fucking ridiculous. But let's admit, tools do make our lives easier. It's funny how much easier the iPad screen stays down when you have the right adhesive. It's funny how much easier it comes off when you have the right spudger. It's funny how easy soldering a chip onto a motherboard is when you have an infrared rework station versus a heat gun. Good tools make life easier. I'm for good tools. I like good tools. But as this industry has matured, as more people have come to it, as more carpetbaggers have come to it, there seems to have been a demand for, not really demand, but a demand for companies to supply tools that are kind of ridiculous. Tools that make me facepalm at the idea that anybody thought that this was a good idea. That there is somebody out there that actually needs this shit. And it's something that I haven't really wanted to talk about. It's something I didn't feel like discussing or ranting about. But something happened today that I'm going to talk about later in this video that made this a necessity. It started with these little screw mats. No, we can't actually remember where the screws go. We don't have the discipline to put them on the fucking table in the order in which we remove them, in the section in which we remove them from the phone, or the laptop, or whatever it is we're working on. No, we need a little magnet ties thingy to do it for us. Whatever, I get that. I'm not gonna bitch about that. Then came the screwdrivers that tell you when to stop turning the screw. It's not, no, we can't use our common sense and say, hey, it's getting harder to turn this. I should stop turning this before I destroy this fucking thing. No, the screwdriver that costs $100 or $200 is going to tell me when to stop turning the screw. Whatever. Then there came a tool that opens the screen out of the iPhone. No, we can't use a little $1 X-Acto knife to pop it out like I have 6,000 fucking times in my life without issue. No, we have a tool that costs money, that takes up bench space, valuable space, that is going to do nothing but take the screen out of the iPhone. Are you fucking kidding me? And no, but no, today was the best. Today is the day I got an email on a tool, not for applying a screen protector, for removing a screen protector. For $29, this proper tool will remove a screen protector off of the new screen so you don't have to get skin residue or fingernail residue or dirt on the corner. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you serious that somebody actually thinks that there are people out there that are gonna pay $29 for this horseshit? That is even more ridiculous than spending $100 on a fucking screwdriver that tells the moron using it when to stop turning the screw. What the fuck is wrong with the world that people actually are trying to market this horseshit? And let me tell you something. If you have the money to spend on this, if you have hundreds of dollars to spend on little mats that tell you where to put the screw, if you have hundreds of dollars to spend on a screwdriver that tells you when to stop turning the screw, if you have money to spend on a tool to remove the screen protector off of the repair, do me a favor. Stop. Do not pass go. Do not collect money and write out a check instantly to one of these three entities and then mail it to this address because as Leonardo DiCaprio said in Wolf on Wall Street the f eh, fuck it their money spends better on me and I'm not about what he was about I'm not about ripping people off I'm not about stealing rather it irritates me on a severe fundamental level to see people uh, waste potential and when I see money in the pocket of somebody else getting used on a screwdriver that tells them when to stop turning the screw that that breaks my heart and it's cool that the music kind of got sad right at that point because it really does break my heart to see hundreds of dollars wasted on garbage when I went without good food for a month to save up just to buy a fucking ultrasonic cleaner. When I saved for two months without buying nice food, living with ripped clothes in a shit-ass apartment on Soydom Street just so I could buy a fucking Hacko rework station, to see people spending hundreds upon thousands of dollars on this garbage, this bunk that will not improve your business in any way. Let me tell you something about why well-funded companies often fail. You know that saying about how 50% oh, of all businesses fail within two years? They need to clarify that bullshit to say most of those businesses are well-funded businesses, are properly funded businesses, or businesses that had money from the beginning and then fucked it up. Because when you're funded properly, you don't make the decisions that you make when you're not funded properly. When I have $100 in my bank account and rent is due in three days, you bet your fucking ass I am not going to spend a dime 
on anything that will not return me at least one to 200% of that money before my rent is due. I am only going to put money into something that will instantly bring me a return. And it's not about being more hungry, it's not about being more desperate, it's about being forced to make decisions that are not fucking retarded. Those are the type of decisions that I have been forced to make as a result of not being properly funded from the start. And that is why, this is getting too fucking loud. It's a good soundtrack though, the Batman, uh, Batman Begins soundtrack by Hans Zimmer. And that is why a lot of businesses that start with no money make smarter decisions than the ones that start with money. Because the businesses that start with money, well, eh, should we get this $100 Lenovo as a shipping computer? Or should I get a $3,000 workstation to be the shipping computer? Eh, I want everybody to have a nice computer. I want everybody to have nice things that work fast. So let's spend all this fucking money. Let's spend thousands of dollars on shit we don't need. For example, my ultrasonic cleaner is sitting on a table that is literally 40 years old that came out of the basement of Planet to Planet Studios. It is disgusting, it is disheveled, and it is falling apart. It's just fucking nasty just looking at it. And I have not spent a dime on a new table. Do you know why? Because, and there is not one thing about a new table that will make that ultrasonic cleaner that sits on it better at fixing motherboards than the piece of shit that's there right now. I could have $10 in the bank, $10,000 in the bank, $100,000 in the bank, $200,000 in the bank, it does not matter. That, 20, that piece of fucking shit table that I took out of a basement that is 40 years old will continue to support my ultrasonic cleaner because that is all that is needed to get the job done. And I don't care people who walk by and think, ugh, what's this thing? Or, ugh, what a disgusting table. They can suck my dick because they are not helping bring in revenue. It's good to make decisions based on what will bring in revenue and what will not bring in revenue. I make my decisions, even as a business that now actually has the money to do some of the things properly, the same way I did when I did not have the money to do them properly. Because if I start making decisions now based on what it would be nice to have, based on something that would be cool to have, instead of making decisions based on what I actually need, I will be right back there having $100 in my name and rent due in three days because I will have fucked away and wasted all of my money. And it happens a lot. It happens a lot more often than you think. Go through all those businesses that people point out that fail. Go through all those businesses that fucked up. They, it's not because they were struggling with the $20 original investment that they had. The people who took that $20 and turned it into an empire, they're still there. It's the people who started with a million or two million or 10 million or 20 million who fucked it all up within two years because they did not make decisions that returned them the money that they needed to make to keep their business in business. Don't make the, that same mistake. Don't buy shit you don't need. Let your brain tell you when to stop turning the screw. Let your brain tell you where the screws are. Let your hand take the fucking screen out of the iPhone. And for the love of God, if you buy that fucking thing that costs $29 to remove a screen protector, you need to unsubscribe from my channel because you are not my target.